Self practice 4.12, questions number 1. Evaluate each of the following by converting it to base 10. To convert the base of the log from one to another, always refer to this rule. So, questions A log base 3 of 22. This will be log base 10 of 22 divided by log base 10 of 3. Solve this using your calculator and you'll get the answer of 2. Point at 136. So give your answer at least to four significance figure. Questions B log best 6 of 1.32. This will be log best tens of 1.32 divide by log best tens of 6. This will give you the answer of 0 0.1549. Question C log best 5 of 18. This will be log best tens of 18 over log best tens of 5. This will give you an answer of 1.7959. Questions D, log best 4 of 0 0.815. This will be log best tens of 0 0.815 over log best tens of 4. The answer of this is negative 0 0.1476. Questions number 2. Convert each of the following two natural logarithms and evaluate them. Natural logarithms is the logarithm with best E, or you can write it as ln. And to change the best of the log, then this is the rule that you need to refer to. Questions A, log best 7 of 2 to 5, to convert this to natural logarithm, we can write it as log best E of 2 to 5 over log best E of 7. Or you can write it as ln 2 to 5 over ln 7. Using your calculator, this will give you the answer of 2.7833. Questions B, log best 9 of 3 to 4. This will be log best E of 3 to 4 over log best E of 9. Or you can write it as ln 3 to 4 over ln 9. Using our calculator, the answer here will be 2.6309. Question C, log best 20 of 379. This will be log best E of 379 over log best E of 20. Or you can write it as ln 379 over ln 20. So this will give you the answer of 1.9820. Questions number 3. Given log best 3 of 2 is equal to t, express each of the following in terms of t. So here we're going to refer to all the law here to help us to solve for questions number 3. So questions A, log best 2 of 9. So first we're going to convert this in log best 3 so that we're going to have log best 3 of 2 then we can write the answer in terms of t. So refer to the law here to convert this to log best 3 it will be log best 3 of 9 over log best 3 of 2. This log best 3 of 9, I can write it as 3 squared. This log best 3 of 2 is equal to t. Now, the numerator part here, the log best 3 of 3 to the power of 2. So when you have log best a of a to the power of x, it will be equal to x. Therefore, the numerator part here will equal to number 2. Therefore, the answer is 2 over t. Questions b. Log best 9 of 8. So first, we're going to convert it to log best 3. So it will be log best 3 of 8 over log best 3 of 9. So the number add, we can write it as 2 to the power of 3. Whereas the number 9 here, we can write it as 3 squared. 
Now, for the numerator part, using the power law, I can move this number 3 to the front. So it will be 3 times log base 3 of 2 over. And the denominator part here will give you the answer of 2. This log base 3 of 2 is equal to t. Therefore, when you multiply it with number 3, it's going to be 3t over 2. Question C, log base 2 of 18. So first, convert this to log base 3. So for the numerator part, the 18, we can write it as 9 times 2. And for the denominator part, this is equal to t. Now, refer to the product law. The numerator part here, I can write it as log base 3 of 9 plus log base 3 of 2 over t. So log base 3 of 9, we know that we can write it as log base 3 of 3 to the power of 2, which will give you the answer of 2. And this log base 3 of 2 is equal to t. Therefore, the answer will be 2 plus t over t for question c. Now, question d, log base 2 of 9 over 4. Now, refer to the division's law. I can write this as log base 2 of 9 minus log base 2 of 4. And for this log base 2 of 9, we can convert it to log base 3. So it will be log base 3 of 9 over log base 3 of 2 minus the number 4 we can write as 2 square. This log base 3 of 9, we can write as log base 3 of 3 to the power of 2, which is equal to 2. The log base 3 of 2 here is equal to t. And this log base 2 of 2 to the power of 2 is equal to 2. To write this as a single fraction, so here we need to equalize the denominator. So the final answer will be 2 minus 2t over t. Question number 4. If log base 2 of m is equal to a and log base 2 of n is equal to b, express each of the following in terms of a and b. So here we're still going to refer to all the rules here to help us to solve for the questions number 4. So we need to converge each of the logs here in base 2 so that we can have the terms of a and b. So questions a, log base 4 of m power of 2 times n to the power of 3. So first we're going to convert this to log base 2 using the rule here. So it's going to be log base 2 of m squared times n cubed over log base 2 of 4. Now, for the numerator part, refer to the product law. I can write this as log base 2 of m squared plus log base 2 of n cubed. Whereas the numerator uh, denominator part, I can write this as log base 2 of 2 square. Next, using the power law, I can move the power here to the front. So it's going to be 2 times log base 2 of m plus 3 times log base 2 of n over here log base 2 of 2 to the power of 2 refer to the law here so you will get number 2 now this log base 2 of m is equal to a and this log base 2 of n is equal to b therefore the final answer is 2 times a which is 2a plus 3 times b 3b over 2 questions b log base 8 of m over n to the power of 2. So first, using the division's law, I can write this as log base 8 of m minus log base 8 of n to the power of 2. So next, I'm going to convert this to log base 2. 
So here I'm going to have log base 2 of m over log base 2 of n minus log base 2 of n to the power of 2 divided by log base 2 of n. So here the log base 2 of m, we know that it is equal to a. And then this log base 2 of n, I can write it as 2 to the power of 3. Next, using the power law, I can move this number 2 to the front. So it's going to be 2 times log base 2 of n over log base 2 of 2 cubed. So we know that log base 2 of 2 to the power of 3, this will equal to number 3. This log base 2 of n is equal to b. So 2 times b will give you the answer of 2b. And the denominator is equal to 3. Combine this as a single fraction, then it will be a minus 2b over 3. Question C, log base mn of an n. So first, I'm going to convert this to log base 2. So this will be log base 2 of at n over log base 2 of mn. At n is equal to at times n and mn is equal to m times n. Therefore, using the product law, the numerator part here, I can write this as log base 2 of at plus log base 2 of n over log base 2 of m plus log base 2 of n. The number add, we can write this as 2 to the power of 3. This log base 2 of n, we can write this as b. Log base 2 of m, we know that this one is equal to a. And log base 2 of n here, we're going to write it as b. So log base 2 of 2 to the power of 3, this will be equal to number 3. So the final answer is 3 plus b over a plus b.